All right, this is going to be my final thoughts on this game. Should you buy it? Yes or no? My answer, my opinion right now, no. It's not worth $40. Just way too many glitches in the game. When it drops in price, absolutely buy the game. It's it's an interesting little diversion. It's a it's got an interesting storyline. Um, I posted another video with the endings. Both endings where you can save the world or you can end the world. Don't watch it for the you know if you don't want spoilers. I could go into detail and spend the next 30 minutes talking about all the different glitches that I've discovered, all the different things that are wrong with it. I can also talk about the good things with it. I'm going to end, I'm not going to make this a very long video, but what I am hoping, and especially if the developers ever do watch this video, my final thoughts, good effort. Like I said, I've got over 100 hours in this game. I didn't just blast through it, I explored it. I found a lot of things wrong with it. I was able to work around it. It did get a little frustrating sometimes. Especially, like, some of the battles and then the whole thing would freeze up. Ooh. And then I had to reload and redo the battles. The autosave is extremely annoying. You, you gotta kind of cut down on that autosave. Or at least allow us the function to take... To disable autosave. I think that might be part of some of the glitchiness. So, disable the autosave. Interesting story. I liked it. The end of it did surprise me a little bit. Um, <laughs> took me like four tries to get to end the world. Because <laughs> I kept messing it up. Um... But I did enjoy it. Like I said, it, it, it is enjoyable. Would I spend $40 for it? No. 10 to 20 If Now, if all the glitch... Now, listen. If all the glitches were fixed, everything... This game ran smoothly and everything was good, I would probably spend, you know, around $20, $20 to $25 for this game easy. No problem. I don't think it definitely... It's, it's not a $40 game. No. I'm sorry. It's just way too limited. And I'm going to briefly touch on this really quick. While the abilities on the side here for each one of the different players, you know, as you, as you progress and you play each one, is not a bad idea. The honest truth is... The way the game works and the way you play it, you're going to end up basically using just your rifle and your revolver for primary battles. You'll use your shotgun for secondaries, like, you know, you're riding along and all of a sudden, oh, you're being hunted and it's the wolves. Well, you don't want to waste your rifle and your revolver ammo on those, so you'll switch to your, uh, <laughs> you'll switch to the shotgun. And then you notice how none of these are really, uh, looped up here that's because I don't you know you don't really use them that much I've tried every single one of these every single one of these and honestly sentry silencer and fan the hammer fan the hammer when you've got you know you got three or four enemies and you could fit you know do this fan the hammer and, and take them all you know take them out and the sentry silencer for being sneaky and quiet and just sniping them without alerting the other ones once in a while i would use the bow depending on what the enemy was because some enemies you would use the bow and not kill them um and especially with fan the hammer when you get this amulet automatically reload equipped weapon on every kill so you've got three or four and they're kind of lined up and you do fan the hammer you kill the first one it automatically reloads it keeps firing you kill the second one it keeps firing reloads it keeps it continuously loads so you can actually do 
if you're using this weapon here with a 12 with 12 with 12 magazines you can fire over 30 rounds like that that's why I've only got 97 rounds <laughs> um, amulets you got amulets that'll reduce fire damage and poison electricity they're all worthless basically yeah, yeah. there's no need for them you want the ones that are gonna do like this one uh, recover health on every kill I use this one a lot use this one a lot I'll switch I'll go at night and you're doing more damage the other one is if you have a high reputation but again to get that high reputation you got to do a whole bunch of bounty so it's not even worth it the reputation really the only thing the reputation does is maybe give you a little bit better prices and you just go into the perks and use the store one um, the crafting skills <laughs> really all you need to do is you just need to get what get this revolver up to gold uh, I'm using Wilson but there is a um, you just need to get the service rifle up to gold get the machete up to gold and then you just need three legendary bearskin vests one for you one for each one of your posse members to give them extra protection I picked this up it's at, it's like at the end of the game it's like oh this is a really nice vest but you know what Pfft. I'm at the end of the game so it's like hey look at this I got a really good one and the game ends and you can't continue on and continue playing using this nice vest as protection or the weapons you know, I ball found that in the store so the amulets are eh. abilities perks I actually could have probably had almost 20 more aces I stopped picking them up because I'm like I don't want to pick any more up just in case it makes it glitchy um, now it makes no sense so you've got nymp relics let's say Jane's got you know 10 nymp relics ends the quest the pig man comes up you go back talk to Jane whatever ace of spades you know if you didn't use up all the ace of spades and the nymp relics talk to Jane boom you got them all back same thing with the protector same thing with the werewolf but when you come to the witch no you gotta start you're at zero so you wanna make sure that you've got everything what else that's about it watch some of my videos I've done quite a few on this um my hope is that this kind of reminds me like the very f a little bit like the very first fallout game if you haven't played it try it <laughs> it's you got to get it on, on use it for the computer it's like a down top game and it's okay it's spoiled with the newer games but what did they do they turned around they took that fallout 3 fallout new vegas fallout 4 no i'm not going to talk about that one those three alone are some of the best games that i've played and i put many hours into it fallout 3 is like one of my favorites i've actually played that to completion like three times I enjoy it so much and I'm hoping that this is what they're gonna do with this game I would love to see this like a Fallout 3 game go into more of an open world making your own choices that would be interesting but we shall see all right I'm gonna end it so final thought don't buy it now at $40 wait for it to drop in price um, once it drops down in price definitely pick it up it's an interesting little game <laughs> you will get some good I did get some laughs out of it I did enjoy they definitely enjoyed parts of it 
uh, did not enjoy the glitches. Those were very frustrating. I actually had to restart the entire game, delete all everything except for Jane, and redo all of them. Um, because I couldn't get into Grackle. That was very frustrating. Oh, I'm going to show you one more glitch. I'm going to show you a glitch just before we go. Here's my horse. I don't know why, but somehow my horse is pissed off at me. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff stored on him, too. I don't know why. It's like, what the heck? Oh, wait, I know. I'm going to try something here. Let's see. Ha! <laughs> it's the only way I could get to my saddlebags. See, look, look at all, look at all this here. I made up all these rifles because I was going to give it to all the companions. Didn't need to. Didn't need to at all. So, and there he goes running. Horse, come back. <laughs> Anyway, that's far, of course. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be moving on to my next one. I did a quick little teaser beginning. So, we'll see how she goes. All right. <laughs>